Yo, what's up my people, Fourth Prince here, bringing you some sprees, Gears of War Judgment. Yes, Gears of War Judgment, for the main reason, yes, Gears of War Judgment is going to be free for Xbox 360 on uh, April the 1st, I think, to the 15th. I did find this out from Brutality last night watching her video, so good thanks to her, but this is special times, super special times for me, because as you guys know, I'm a Gears of War Judgment fan, and hopefully we get a new influx of players I think this is probably the greatest thing that could have happened for Judgment I know a lot of people out there in the Gears of War community can't stand Gears of War Judgment don't even want to recognize it as a Gears of War game it is what it is I can have to look at it in a different way and say that it's something I thoroughly enjoyed and it's been a big part of the franchise for me the Gears franchise I did come into Gears of War, Gears of War 2 then played on Gears of War 3 was like there for the beta Gears of War 3 was just my most amazing experience of my little game in life but Gears of War Judgment has been always with that as well it's been ups and downs well more downs than ups with Gears of War Judgments. obviously we had a big lack of content and we just it wasn't liked by the fans at all, which was a shame, but I do think it's an absolutely amazing game. In some ways, better than free for me. That's just my opinion. You can disagree with it if you like. I know I've said this before and I will probably say it again in the future, but Gears of War Judgment for me has been an absolutely amazing game. The only thing for me that has been a really sad part of Gears of War Judgment is we haven't had the community there. Um, it wasn't like Gears of War 3, I had so much fun with friends on Gears of War 3 and Gears of War 2. It was always like that spirit when you got on Gears of War 3, you hit up your friends, you get a whole full party, you go and do some running ranks and stuff, and just everything was lovely. Gears of War Judgments never really had that for me. I've had to play with a few friends here and there, but here and there, literally. I think Orbit has probably been my greatest friend on here, Gears of War Judgment. So looking out for him as well. But I do feel that with it being free on Xbox Live and Xbox Gold members, all can download this for free on the 1st to the 15th of April. I think it could bring in a whole new... A whole new era of players to be honest I'm not sure if the DLC is going to be all released into the game or not so I'm talking about the Lost Relics and the Master of Us Arms DLC packs I'm pretty sure that they won't be and they will still have to be bought so there will still only be the five multiplayer maps well six multiplayer maps no five no six no one two three four no five see yeah um, the five multiplayer maps in Gears of War Judgment which is a shame I've always called I've always asked for ages and ages that you know all the maps just get dropped in from the for the multi multiplayer not so much for overrun I think overrun was okay and did what it needed to do with the maps that it had but uh, yeah multiplayer just I'm just so excited it's like I don't know it's like games coming out for me just the fact that it will get a, a reignition from players and people and it'd just be nice to see lots of other people for me to kill and enjoy playing with hopefully on it uh, I think a lot of people maybe didn't get a chance to play Judgment because it didn't sell that well and I just think this is an expired idea by Microsoft Studios and Black Tusk as well I kind of knew this was going to happen at some point but I didn't know how soon it was and I was probably thinking that Gears of War 3 would have been free before Gears of War Judgment but obviously it hasn't been the case that hasn't been the way so we have we have got Gears of War Judgment I'm just happy can't wait it's like the happiest news for me I know I'm going on about it but you yeah, like, don't understand this is happy news for me and uh, yeah also of course we've had news about E3 I wasn't really going to touch on this but I do have like loads and loads of minutes to chat at the moment so I'm going to try and make it worth my while since I can't just chat about how much I want to love and lick judgment all the time licking judgment I mm, love the judgment mm, so tasty is what it is but yeah E3 uh, what Ferguson said about um what Ferguson said about E was uh, going to be there was no uh, Marcus Phoenix collection but they are working on other projects. Now we obviously know they're working on Gears of War 4. Well we don't actually officially know it's Gears of War 4 yet. It still isn't like officially officially I don't think. But I'm pretty sure it's Gears of War 4 is the big thing that's going to be coming out from Black Tusk. But they're working on other projects. Now a lot of people have been hoping maybe and praying that they could have a Gears of War 1 
remake as opposed to the fact they're not doing a Marcus Phoenix collection which would have been Gears of War 1, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3 which was something that I would have loved on the Xbox One, I'm not going to lie, I'm a Gears head, everyone knows that but if there was no judgement on there, I know I'm weird everyone, I would have been um, deeply upset in my own little way but now they're talking that maybe there will be just Gears of War 1 because it's coming up to the 10 year anniversary that come from Barbosa. we will leave a link in the description to Brutality's channel and Barbosa's in the description so go down and check them videos out we'll leave links down there and he was saying about um, Gears of War 1 maybe 10 years anniversary perfect time to drop it and which is amazing I'm not knocking it I'm not gonna like poo poo it because that would be awesome I'm not gonna say I wouldn't get it and I wouldn't play it, play it on the next gen console the Xbox One but is that what I would want? I want something different. I do have all my. I do have a 360. I do have Gears of War 1, 2, 3, all the Gears of War games, and I can play them at any time. I kind of feel it was a bit like Combat Evolved Halo when that came out on its own. Uh, not talking about MCC and the Master Chief Collection, but talking about when um, Combat Evolved actually came out on its own and played that. It was a brilliant game. I'm not knocking how Halo was amazing 10 years ago, but. 10 years ago like video games I feel move forward a lot a lot even though that Gears of War 1 would be awesome all HD'd up and looking beautiful I'd certainly want to play the campaign but I really got into the Gears franchise via uh, Gears of War 2 really so I do feel that certain aspects of Gears of War 1 would be definitely a step back for me especially uh, the fact that at the moment I'm playing Gears of War Judgment and uh, I've just come away from Gears of War 3 so eh. But uh, what are they working on? I'd like to see something like free to play overrun or something like that. I think the ideas are endless, but we won't know anything till E3. So E3 is going to be, I think it's June. So we've got a little bit of a wait for that, but there's going to be loads of anticipation. Just the fact we're going to have some news, hopefully a trailer for Gears of War 4. I know, I can't believe it. Every time I say it, I just that's that have ventilating and stuff so that would be awesome and uh, to see what other projects they've got coming I hope the more things that come out for Gears of War the better I'm certainly a big fan as you guys know and hopefully the fact Judgment's dropping for free hopefully that brings some more people into the franchise and maybe we're going to get a full population of players on Gears of War Judgment which is something super for me much love and peace